welcome to day two of my two day trout fishing trip. Things have not gone as planned. I was planning to fish a different river today, but it's all chocolatey and flooded and unfishable. So I'm back where I was yesterday and we'll continue the Euronym thing saga. Let's see if we can catch any fish. Yes, got him. Nice. This is not, not winning this. This is not going well. Oh, gone. Ah. Yep, got him. One more. Two fish lost. And uh, the river is really busy. There's people everywhere. Every pool is full of people because all the other rivers are flooded out. So it's going to make it a challenge, but I'm up for the challenge and we'll see what we can get. I've unfortunately lost a good fly that worked this morning and yesterday. I've lost all of them now. So I don't have that. I've got to work out something new and see what I can do. But that's part of the fishing. Since there's so many people on the river, I'm going to just really hit the spots I know I have fish hard and try very hard to get fish in those spots. And I often sit in that glassy bit on the other side. Yep, got him. Oh, he's trying to get me under that log. And he has done me under the log. <sighs> three out of three. I only lost one fish yesterday out of seven. And uh, this morning I can't land them. So that's just how fishing goes. Yep, got him. Ah, oh. cannot believe it. What is going on? I guess the one benefit of all this retying is that the pool is getting rested. There seems to be a few fish in here, so hopefully I can actually land one soon. If I can catch more. Oh, why does someone have to ring me now? I've got one. Thank you, Bingo. Okay. Nice looking fish. Down here. Nice. Nice. I'll take him a bit back down actually. Try and let, not let him go too far down. And I'm a little bit obviously worried about losing it. Taking the pink beaded fly, bring it back in here. And I just realized <laughs> I left my net in the car. Oh, that's great. I'm gonna have to bring it up here. That's annoying. Cannot believe I forgot my net. That's net sagas always continue with me. Bring it into some shallow water, keep it in the water as much as I can. Beautiful silver fresh fish. The pink beaded fly, awesome. Beautiful fresh silver fish, absolutely lovely fish. Let's get that one away. Gone. Landing that fish without a net and GoPro battery changes has arrested this again and we seem pretty clean at the moment. So let's see what we can find if there's more willing fish. Let's that was number three hooked out of here, and that's number four. The fishing is on today, that's for sure. So bring it down. And there's the last one. I'm going to try and get this one, keep it out of there. This is a, not as big a fish. This out here. To the shallows. 
Yeah, it's taking an orange beater fly. Oh, come up here. Come up here, fishy. Awesome. A bit skinny, this one. A quick look before I release it. Nice fish. Cool. Oh, well, things are certainly looking up. The fishing's really good this morning. But yeah, I lost the first four fish, but two up on board now, looking very good. So let's quickly just talk about the setup I'm using. I'm back with the Nano Nymph 10 foot 3 weight Euro Nymphing rod. As I said before, this has got a very strong butt and a soft tip. Don't mistake it for a light rod. These can handle some really big fish. On that, I've got the carbon sensor reel from Isle of Fly Fishing. It's got a really smooth drag. It's quite nice for this. And on the reel, I have a Euro Nymphing fly line also from Isle of Fly Fishing. And then I have 12 foot of 2x duo sighter material i normally have a super glue splice on here but i couldn't redo it because i didn't have the right super glue last time so i've actually got a micro loop on here at the moment now it's been working quite well the micro loop is coated in some uv glue to smooth it over and then i've got a, a clinch knot actually to the micro loop to make it nice and smooth that's been shooting through the guides well then from the duo sighter i've got to about six foot Yesterday I was fishing with 4x, today I'm up now to 3x uh, fluorocarbon and then my flies are about 30 centimeters apart. One pink beaded pheasant tail and an orange beaded Frenchy style fly at the moment. And the pink bead and the orange bead have both caught fish now. So very good. Let's keep going and get some more fish. Well, I yet again forgot my net. I came back to the car to get it and thought I might as well have a coffee and let some of the close by pools settle and go and fish some of the bits again that I've seen other people fish and do well in. So fish seem to be on the bite. Pink beads have been the way to go. So let's hope we can get some more. Cheers. Well, interestingly, uh, the river seems to have been coming up now. Rain's long gone now. This river is a bit different. Anyway, bit of dirty water and Hopefully a bit of coloured water, get a bit of interest from the fish. I know this has been thoroughly fish already this morning. Oh, give it a go nonetheless. See if I can pick one up out of here. It's rested, been rested for a while now. Luck here, fish wise, and move on shortly. Yep, got him. I knew there had to be one in there somewhere. What did it take? The orange or the pink bead? It's like a pink bead. We're so definitely on pink beads today. I get it. I want to come towards me. <laughs> that was why it was so hard. That's a big fish. Beautiful condition. This is a great fish. Wow, look at that. Absolutely fat and lovely. Wow, very happy about that fish. Let's have a last look there. Beautiful fish, good condition, awesome. Okay, well definitely significantly more flow in here. Try this for a few more times. We'll move up. Yes, got one. Pink bead again. I'm gonna muscle this one because I don't want to do any of those snags. Oh, it's got myself wrapped. Both flies now. This is not good. Never good. Okay, actually, not a huge fish. Get away with that, wrapping it with a busted mule. 
Well, I don't know if the fish decided to have a meeting and decide it's pink bee day, but that pink bead is doing the trick, that's for sure. Lovely fish, a bit dark, a bit skinny, but still a nice fish. We'll uh, get it away. It was good to be able to get those two fish in bits that I know have been heavily fished. And I'm just gonna pop into my spot from this morning again and see if it's rested. And I don't think anyone's fished it for a while. See if I can get a fish or two out of there too. And then I'll move my way further up. Yes. I knew there had to be a fish in there somewhere. Nice. I really want pink beads. Ah. Oh. Did I? That just popped off. Okay. Going to. Yeah, you be a fly on. Yep, immediately. Just need to get down. Just needed to get down. So as soon as I put that heavier fly on, pretty much a couple of casts, we're in the right spot and push on. It's one of the keys of urinum thing is just getting the depth right especially with these winter fish and uh, don't be afraid to change your the weight of your flies quite frequently it's handy to have your favorite patterns in a variety of uh, sizes as well oh nice great condition fish oh lovely lovely fish this is going to be perfect for eating I'm going to dispatch this one and take it home. Definitely worth seeing if there's a few more willing fish in there. Yep. Let's drift through and another one. This is turning into one of my best days here and think on this river yet. Ah, came off. Oh no, busted me. What happened there? Ah, got it. I definitely feel I should be able to get more fish out of here. It's gone a little bit quiet, but I've just changed GoPro batteries and things and rested it a bit. Let's see if that makes a difference. Yep, got one of them. Shallow fish. Nice. Wonder if it took their pink beaded fly. I don't see a pink bead floating around, so probably. Oh no, it took the heavy fly. It's a nice fish. This is a tungsten bodied fly. Harvey bead. Caddis pattern. Okay, let's get it out. Oh, let's try and land it. I've lost that. Pink beaded fly in the process somewhere. Oh, nice fish. Very nice fish. What a lovely fish. Oh my goodness. That's a beauty. Absolutely lovely fish. Gorgeous. The colours and good condition and really fat. So, let's get that one away. Right, let's see if I can get another one out of here. Yep, got him. Nice. No, ah, came off. Busted me. Oh, man, I've had bad luck with busted today. Okay, rested it quite a bit after retiring. Let's see if we can find another one. Oh, so a 
してらっしゃる飲まれてありますわ、ね。See if I can land one. Yep, got one. Nice. Cool. Nice. Okay, try and keep this on. And out of the snags. Oh, took the pink beaded fly. Really wanted pink beads today. I think he's a bit wrapped. Why is so hard? Catch? Yeah, he's a bit wrapped. He's got the other fly in his tail. A strong fish, that's for sure. Left the head. Oh, great condition fish, beautiful fish. Oh, that's a big fish. That is a great fish. Beautiful condition, absolutely stunning. Fat fish, beautiful. Wow, and silver, fresh out of the lake. Hmm. I think this one is going to come home too. This is going to be great for the family. Good feed. So, yeah, it's going to come home. Oh, I wonder how many fish is in here. It's been a very successful spot. That's for sure. Yep, got him. Just under those bushes. A smaller fish, but still very strong. Oh, this is really turning into my best day urine and thing on this river, that's for sure. Wow. That smaller fish. This one out. Been in the river for a while. Oh, it's got both flies in its mouth. I don't know which one it's actually hooked it. <laughs> because neither of the flies are still in the fish. There we go. Lovely Jack. Don't know which fly it actually took because both were out of its mouth by the time uh, I got the fish in. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. It pretty much turned into the best day urine and thing I've had on this river. Really good. Some good fish. Good fish to take home for dinner as well. So, why not watch another one if you enjoyed this video up here? And uh, I'll see you in the next one. This one. Watch it. <laughs>